FC Cincinnati is one step closer to building a professional stadium in the West End. The Cincinnati School Board voted unanimously in favor of a deal tonight that gives them the land that it needs, but it wasn't the most joyous of occasions. Brad Underwood filed this report earlier tonight. Mr. Morawski. Aye. Mr. Timmons. Aye. Ms. Jones. Aye. Motion carries. Resolution is approved. The message from West End residents hasn't changed much over the past three months. They do not care for the pitch to bring MLS to the West End. Jeff Birding said here and in news releases that if the West End didn't want FC, they wouldn't build there. But despite that sentiment, it appears FC Cincinnati's bags are packed and the team is ready for the move. That I was taught nobody's going to make a decision for us, about us, without us. But yet everybody in the city keep doing that. It took four tries to sell CPS on a land swap deal for Stargill Stadium. Board member Mike Morosky says he's proud the district held out for the best deal. For myself, I feel good about these terms. Uh, they're certainly the best terms we've seen. I'm really proud of us, all seven of us. I mean, I don't know that anybody expected uh, the Cincinnati Public School Board to stand this firm this long and to actually get taxes from a developer, um, which is something the city of Cincinnati doesn't always do on our behalf. So it was nice to be able to have a say in our own destiny, as it were. And I think we did a good job. Board President Carolyn Jones says it's been a long, tough three months of due diligence. This kind of consumed us for a while, but I want you and others to know that we have a board that was fully committed to doing the right thing for our district and for our students. I don't see how or why we can even be talking about a vote when the CBA isn't already in place. And that's something Cincinnati City Council member Jeff Pastor is concerned about too, tweeting he wants details about a community benefit package the club is promising before he votes on the development plan. In Coryville, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. That tweet is crucial because at the moment, Jeff Pastor appears to be the fifth vote the council is banking on to make the stadium deal a reality. They are expected to vote on the funding deal sometime next week.